welcome to your daily dose of inspirational and life-changing Bible studies designed to equip you to conquer your world. We encourage you to share this devotion with your family and friends, even start a watch party. We know that you will be blessed and edified. Today's daily devotion starts now. So I want to thank you for being on here this morning as we are in for devotions. I'm going to pray and then we're going to get into the study of God's word this morning that it may inspire and encourage and transform our very lives. Father, this morning, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you, O oh God, Father, that you are true to your word. You're faithful to your word. We depend on you. We trust. We rely on you. Father, we ask you to forgive us of all our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, renew a right spirit within us. We reach out this morning to you, O oh God. We thirst and we hunger after your word. We take delight in your word. We take delight in your law, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your truth. And we thank you, O oh God, Father, that your word is our portion this morning. May we have our fill, O oh God. Father, make, O oh God, this word, uh, our truth that we need to hear this morning to direct our lives, to continue to represent you in the earth and to love others and to, O oh God, Father, our own lives to be transformed and for us to be the example, the salt and the light in the earth that more and more lives will be touched by the power of your love. I thank you for your goodness and your mercies. I thank you for your goodness and your mercies. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I want to read for you this morning from the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. All right. And um, one of the things I want you to be very confident is that we must be very conscious of what we allow to feed our minds and what we allow to feed our spirit, right? The mind has an appetite. The flesh has an appetite. The mind of the spirit has an appetite. And you want to be very careful in this time. As a matter of fact, Jesus says, take heed to what you hear. Take heed to what you hear. Now, today, there is so much information that is being shared. What is being shared? Information. And I want you to be careful in this time that you are not doing what I call gathering of data without getting to the truth. The gathering of data without getting to the truth. If being around a lot of information was transformational, then every Liberian would be a very powerful, influential, rich, healthy person. And no disrespect if you're a Liberian, but to be surrounded by information is not necessarily a guarantee that one will be transformed. And what the devil is doing, the devil is cluttering a lot of people's minds with information so that he can dilute the truth. In the beginning, God said. When Lucifer the devil came, the serpent, you know what he said? Did God say? Did God say? God said, 
an absolute truth. If you eat of this tree, you will surely die. With absolute truth, you will what? Surely die. Surely die. That's what God says. If you eat of this tree, you will what? Surely die. When Lucifer came, what did he say? Did God say that if you eat of this tree, you will surely die? It's almost as if he put a question mark on God's truth. God did not put that as a question. He placed it as a command. At the end of that was a full stop. But when Lucifer asked, around the truth, he gave a picture that there were options. So what is he doing? He is creating clutter around the truth. He's creating options. Options. Now, let me say this. What is the tree that God said not to eat of. What was the tree? This is Bible basics here. Eh? If you went to Sunday school, you're supposed to know this. What was the tree that God said, do not eat the fruit of? Guys, it's very important you know these things eh? Don't, don't be close to the truth. You must know exactly what it is. You don't know where to find it? Genesis chapter... Chapter 2, verse 15. Then the Lord said, God took man, put him in the garden of Eden, tend it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat it. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Am I testing you this morning? Yes, I'm testing you this morning. It is important, guys, listen. Do not play around with the word of God. You must know the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. As a matter of fact, I'm going to encourage pastor that we're going to have an, a, uh, a study of the end times, eschatology coming up. How many of you will be excited if we study the end times? An end time study, eschatology, so that you will learn. No making, no joke in the season. You must know line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, there. You must know. Don't, be, don't get involved in old talk. Um, let me tell you something. There's a reason I'm giving you this, you know. Some of you have already fallen into the trap of the enemy. And I'll tell you what the trap is. He said in the garden, don't eat of this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat of that tree. Why was God protecting man? from all the knowledge of good and evil. You ever ask yourself this? Why did not God want man to be exposed to all this knowledge? Look at where we are today. Look at where we are today. You know what Lucifer came, Lucifer came up with an argument. The reason he don't want you to eat it is because he's holding back this power. He knows that you can be as powerful as him in the day that you eat of that fruit. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It looks good to the eyes. It looks good. It looks like it will taste sweet. It looks like it will give you strength. So let me say this to you. You have to be careful in this day. 
there are people out there who purposefully is putting information out on the internet they're sharing information and the information is carrying subtle messages to influence your minds even in the midst of the pandemic and so many people are just reading stuff and sharing it because they understand how to make it sound true they understand how to make it sound viable how to make it sound legitimate they understand how to make it look and how to make it sound people just recording videos hi i am this luke in springville claxton bay and i saw this and this is what you should do to conquer covid 19. my name is cecil i have been working in this and if you do this i'm telling you that people are getting poisoned don't take a vaccine i am no sierra Lee. everybody is credible stating their stating their title stating i am not saying all of it is false but i'm telling you this you know what the bible warns in second timothy chapter 3 and verse 7 second timothy chapter 3 and verse 7 you know what it says always learning but never able to come to a knowledge of the truth listen to this this is this is paul writing to young timothy here's what he told him verse 6 they are the kind who worm their way how they doing it worm you ever see how a worm is move creep slither worm in its way slithering into homes and gain control over gullible women i want to i want to say this don't pay so much attention to just women pay attention to gullible or well, you're not reading this bible you know let me pull up the let me pull up the meaning of gullible because the man on here will say well it's the woman he's talking to i don't have to pay attention pay attention to gullible watch this easily persuaded to believe something credulous what is read this bible you all reading this bible easily persuaded to believe something timothy i'm just letting you know there is a kind woman their way into homes to gain control over the gullible to gain what control how they controlling you by what they are feeding your mind listen to me i declare to you this morning i break every spiritual demonic control over your mind i pray that you will have the discernment of the holy ghost to know what to feed your mind in this season i am telling you right now the devil and the host of hell is fighting for control over homes and the way they are doing it ladies and gentlemen look in the scripture they are worming their way into homes through technology He that has ears to hear, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying. And they are going after the gullible. Always learning knowledge, but never able to come to a what? Knowledge of truth. So watch this. Very simple. All learning does not include the knowledge of truth. That's what I get from my Bible. Anybody get anything else? A lot of learning is happening, but not all learning 
is coming to the knowledge of truth. That is one of the moves in the last day. Keep people only reading, reading, reading the knowledgeable. You ain't here, they could do this. You ain't hear this. You ain't see this. You ain't see what they're doing over here. You ain't hear about this. You, you didn't see what they're doing over here. You ain't hear what this country do. You ain't see what's going on over here. You see what happened over here. One set of learning. Every morning you have about eight things to read. People sending you. You see this? Go take this. But are we coming to the knowledge of truth? I'm showing you. And let me tell you the type of spirituality this is creating. Go back. Verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. You ever, you ever pay for cable and you have 500 channels, but you're only watching five? Why are you paying for the 500 channels? You're only watching five but you're paying for 500 channels. You know what happened? The Holy Spirit has been given to us and we live in life by only these type of surface type of, you are only being informed by all of these WhatsApp forward messages and what the news saying. You, you are not tapping into the full power of the package that you have gotten through Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are not tapping into the real power. You have to do this faith with power. I don't know where else that you will get power, but by through the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, and when the Holy Spirit comes upon them or you, you shall receive power. Careful. Take heed to what you hear. Do not feed your mind with every piece of knowledge. Do not feed your mind with every piece of knowledge. All learning does not include the knowledge of truth. Don't read everything and don't listen to everything. You say, but Pastor Luke, but it making sense. I'm not saying that everything out there is false enough. But you have to have discernment to know what to ingest and what to not take in. Why? All learning does not include the knowledge of truth. And let me tell you why it will make a difference. Let me tell you why it will make a difference. Because knowledge informs decisions. What is knowledge inform? Decisions. Watch this. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not what? Sin against thee. Watch this. To sin is to miss the mark. So when you have the truth in you, you will not miss the mark. That means when you are acting or behaving or taking actions, you're not going to take actions on certain things in certain directions. Why? Because the word, the truth that you have hidden in your heart is directing your behavior. That means information is now influencing action. The word or the truth is influencing your behavior. Jesus says, do not be hearers only, but be what? Doers. So your hearing informs your doing. What you hear will determine what you do. So if you're hearing everything, See how your actions looking now? This is what I'm going to show you. Very careful. Now, the book of Daniel, I'm going to show you. Daniel is a prophetic book. Daniel is a what? A prophetic book. Daniel is a what? A prophetic book. 
Now, watch this. I'm going to give you a, a one central thought I want you to leave with here today. Watch this. Daniel chapter 1. I'm jumping down to verse 5. They gathered all... All the sharp young people from the from the from the, the region, and they're gonna train them so that they could learn how to serve the king. Daniel chapter one, verse five. And the king appointed for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank, and three years of training for them, so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king. Now, among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. To them, the chief of the Enochs gave names. He gave Daniel, Belteshazzar, Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not, what? Defile himself. This is, this is how a Christian has to live. In a world like what we live, you have to purpose in your heart not to defile yourself by consuming that which does not line up with the word of God. That which does not carry the spirit of truth. He's not going to defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into the favor of the goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear my lord the king who has appointed your food and drink for why should, you, should he see your faces looking worse than the young men who are of your age? Then would that endanger my head before the king. So Daniel said to the to the steward, whom the chief of the eunuchs had said over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be examined before you and the appearance of the young men who eat the portion of the king's delicacies. And as you see it fit, so deal with your servants. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them for 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their features appeared better and fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Hello, believer, you have to be confident that you're only going to feed your spirit and your appetite with what God tells you to feed your spirit with. Do not just get carried away with what everyone else is eating. You know, they say, they say this is good for this, you know. They say this is what is happening. They say people who take the vaccine this. They say this. And they say, hello. They say they. Who is they? Are they representatives of the Most High God? Who is they? Here's what I want to know. Do you know the truth of what God's word says? Listen to me. You cannot live in this time just following people, masses, crowd, posts, the majority. Let me, people, listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. And the word of God is where your counsel is. If people are reading the Bible, they will not go and do foolish things saying God told them to do it. If the Bible says obey the authority or the governing authorities of the land for they are established by God. And when you obey the authorities of the land, you please God and you will face the full brunt of terror if you disobey the authorities of the land because God is not there to protect you from the repercussions of disobeying the law of the land and the people who hold up the law of the land 
will be happy. If that's what the Bible is saying, and you are reading the spirit of truth, then you are doing everything to obey the law of the land. Why? You have the knowledge of truth. You're not out there doing foolishness, disobeying the law of the land, because you're saying you're obeying divine authority, but you're disobeying earthly authority. You're not reading the scripture. You're not reading the scripture. You might have knowledge, but did you come to the knowledge of truth? You might be learning, probably, probably they didn't get to that part of the Bible as yet. May the Lord help us all. Mercy, mercy, Father, mercy. Mercy, mercy. Daniel purposed in his heart. He will not what? Defile himself. When you just taking in all kind of random things, a lot of these things, watch this. People are being paid to design things that sound true. And they're sending these things out in the internet. And it's worming it way into people's homes to take control of them. Do feel that the enemy is not behind a lot of these things. I will show you a Netflix where they went into a house in Ghana and shut down an operation where people were paid every day to pretend to be Americans and putting out all kinds of profiles, fake profiles, and putting out all kinds of messages to inspire a lot of hate that was happening in America around the Black Lives Matter movement. They shut down the whole operation. These people were in another part of the world pretending to be Americans with fake profiles. And they're putting out messages and pictures and people are scrolling and wow, look what they did and look what, look at you look at. And people getting nervous and controlling your emotions. And you don't realize you're getting knowledge. But you will not getting the knowledge of truth. So what is the devil doing? The devil is bombarding the airways with all kinds of information to do what? Dilute the truth. But I declare to you this morning that your discernment in this season is sharp. I declare to you that your understanding of the word in this season is sharp. I declare to you that the Holy Ghost is guiding you into all truth. I declare to you that you will not be controlled with false information. I declare to you that you will be free to obey the Lord. Knowledge of truth. I will not defile myself with the delicacies of the world. Vegetables and water. You say, well, look, vegetables and water sound like we're missing out. It might sound so. That's what you call the Daniel fast. It might sound like you're eating less. It might sound like you're eating clean. It might sound like you like you take, boy, you step down your food. You just go and eat vegetables and water. Well, I'm sorry for you. Or they don't eat in Bible. Okay, well, or they don't eat in the word of God. All right, well, or they ain't gain all of this. After 10 days, the Bible says they were looking better than the rest who were eating everything. They're taking in all the knowledge. They're running after every woman. They're looking, the ones who decided to take their appetite from the things of God, the Holy Ghost, the Word, they were looking better after 10 days. I declare to you that this is a prophetic counsel how to live in this time. Do not feed yourself with the, with the earthly king's delicacies. Feed yourself with what the Lord put us in your heart. Right after that, the Bible says they told them, bow them and worship a big idol. You know, Daniel and them says, we will not bow down and worship that. You have to be confident in this day. Confident in this day to obey what the Lord has said to you. And I'm saying this to you, in the end, you will come out better, brighter. Your health, spiritual health will be better. This is a warning to you this morning. Take heed. I close off this morning. I want to say this. 
if you just scrolled on here somebody added you to this chat and let me say this now is not a time to play around with your salvation now is not a time to wonder if i were to die today if i would go to the arms of my father every morning you ought to be confident about your salvation don't play around if you're on this chat don't just come to be inspired don't just come for a good word so you can go and have a good day and you have not secured your eternal destiny. Let me caution you this morning. This scripture, this Bible, the Bible says, I'm not ashamed of the power of the gospel for it is the power of God unto what? Salvation. This gospel is for your salvation. And if this morning you are on here and you don't feel secure about your eternal destiny, I want you to say a simple prayer after me. And as soon as we say this prayer, I want you to send a message. We want to get in touch with you. We want to continue to disciple you, continue to strengthen you, continue to pray for you. You will get the word of God. It will protect you. I promise you, just this word, if you, if, if you took heed, it will protect you. So pray this prayer after me. I really want you to, to surrender your life to Jesus Christ today if you don't know him. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I accept you into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you said that prayer, I want to congratulate you. Welcome into the family of God. I can safely say happy birthday. You are born again. Welcome and congratulations. Go ahead and send us a direct message. We want to get in touch with you. God bless you. And may you have a, a, a wonderful day as you can now safely say, I am, I am a child of the Most High God. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being on for devotions this morning. 8 p.m. tonight, we're going to get to the knowledge of truth right here in the Word of God. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and give you perfect peace. God bless you. Took the form of